Hi, I'm Sonal Pradeshi, Product Manager in the Office 365 team. In this video, I will give you an overview of the Office Graph and highlight some key features and functionality that are available in Preview, so you are ready to start exploring its potential for your own applications. In this video, you will learn first what the Office Graph is and the advantages that it offers to you to enhance the cloud-based applications and services you are building with Office 365. Next, I will highlight some key features available today as part of the Office Graph infrastructure and describe the relationship to Microsoft Graph. Next, you will see a demo of the API access point, and I will highlight a partner that has been building some interesting solutions. And lastly, I will point you to some additional resources where you can go to learn more about the Office Graph and start exploring it for your own applications. What is Office Graph? Office Graph is the collection of signals that maps out people's activities across Office 365 and their relationships to other people and information. Office Graph pivots on people analyzing the content, communications, and behaviors in an organization, and uses cloud-based machine learning to build intelligent insights. The Office Graph indexes different pieces of business information, from emails in Exchange, to social conversations in Yammer, and meetings in Skype, to documents in SharePoint and OneDrive. These objects combined with behavioral signals can be leveraged by developers to create experiences that are more relevant and personalized for an individual, a team, and the whole organization. The Office Graph is a cloud-based technology that works with Office 365 data. But we recently released a solution that enables Office Graph to take advantage of on-premises content which may be the case for many of your customers that are beginning their journey to the cloud. The cloud hybrid search solution allows these customers to send data to the Office Graph and the experiences built over it, such as Delve. As a developer, this broadens up the horizons of your applications to be more meaningful and applicable to customers in a hybrid scenario that may have on-premise content stored in SharePoint 2007, 2010, 2013, and file shares, etc. Let me explain a bit more about the Cloud Hybrid Search solution. The Cloud Search Service Application, or SSA, is a key element of the Cloud Hybrid solution, and it provides the ability to crawl and pass the on-premises content, which then pushes to the cloud. There, it is processed and a unified search index is built for use in Office 365. When users query the unified search index, they will get search results from both the on-premises and the Office 365 content with a combined search relevancy ranking and a single result set that feeds into the Office Graph. The Office Graph, enriched by this data, enables you to develop rich applications that cater to more holistic customer scenarios in the cloud. And this enriched Office Graph is the core intelligence layer that is accessible to the Microsoft Graph. The Microsoft Graph evolved from the principles of the Office Graph and is the single consistent way to access a wealth of data across Office 365 and other Microsoft Cloud services. It provides developers with a unified API endpoint to access data and intelligence breaking down the silos across a host of services in the Microsoft Cloud. And it is all based on the open standards of OAuth 2.0, REST, and JSON. The Office Graph APIs today are accessible in the preview endpoint or beta endpoint of the Microsoft Graph. From this endpoint, you can experiment with the latest features we are introducing into the Microsoft Graph that are not yet available for production. Currently, there are two Office Graph relationships that you can query for from the Microsoft Graph. The first is called the Working with Insight, which is a people-to-people -people relationship. The Office Graph can determine who you are working closely with based on your social circle. 
and it returns the people most relevant to you that may not necessarily be in your immediate group or team. These will be people in your organization that the Office Graph has found you're in contact with through its analysis. Now let us see how these APIs work. To do this, I'm going to transition to my API Demo Explorer web application that allows me to make requests signed in to a tenant on Office 365. The API can access the user that is logged in, and starting from there, you can traverse to the information you need. If I navigate to the beta endpoint, I can get all of my information by navigating to me. Here I am logged in as a demo user, Garth, who works in sales and marketing. Next, I go to the working with query. Here what you will get back is a list of people that you work closely with that are in your social circle, peers on DLs who you are collaborating with, sharing and co-authoring documents and communications with, etc. And this is irrespective of their organizational placement. You can also navigate directly to the profile of those users to get their detailed information from Azure AD. As an example, I'm logged in as Garth, the sales and marketing rep, but you see here a colleague who is in a completely different department than mine. The second Office Graph API is the Trending Around Query, which is a people-to-document relationship. It returns a collection of files that are popular or trending around you, and we have the ability to do this for the current authenticated user, or you can also specify another person on your tenant. Now I'm going to go to the Trending Around Query. Here what I'm going to get back is a list of documents that are relevant for the provided user. These are documents not only in SharePoint, but also in OneDrive for Business. And you can navigate directly to the particular instance of the document to get more information about it. For example, I can click on this file to get all of the properties for the actual file. This is supported by the Office 365 file API and I can perform any of the actions permitted by it. Now that you have seen the APIs, let me tell you that we have several partners that have been working through our preview program to build some exciting applications that leverage these APIs. I want to take a minute to highlight one of those partners, Avpoint, that have recently launched My World, a universal Windows application that takes the power of Office Graph even further. The My World app combines the topics and content mined by an Azure-hosted entity extraction service along with the insights from the Office Graph. Let's see the app in action. We are now in the My World app. As you can see, it surfaces to Office 365 users through an immersive visual experience, a personalized topic cloud that suggests documents that you can select and drill into. Let's look at the documents that are based on the game changing from the moment topic. The app also shows relationship trees. So you can view your people connections more easily and it has a set of suggested contacts for you as well. And the same goes for documents. You can view the trending around documents as well as suggested documents. This app also has Cortana integration, which allows a hands-free approach to scan key topics and deep dive into the documents through voice command integration. We think this is very cool, and you can download and try the MyWorld app for yourself from the Windows Store. 
To learn more about this and other partner solutions built on the Office Graph, head to dev.office.com slash Office Graph. For Office Graph API documentation, samples, and more, see graph.microsoft.com. And you can always ask us questions on Stack Overflow by tagging them with Office 365. And do tell us about the apps you are building by posting to Twitter with hashtag OfficeDev. Thank you for watching this video and happy coding.